Stuff is Charles Gay. Yeah, just in case you ain't heard of me, they told me it was too late. But I promise that I'll be the first to speak. Most of these rappers, they fake. But you can't have your way to sign Burke here. Everybody said it won't be. Till they see smoke, then they realize they'd rather have turkey me. What it do, what it do. It's 903 Boxing. I'm your host, Charles J. Say, man, it's a done deal. Shakir Stevenson versus Frank Morton is, it looks like it's going to happen. Um, all we waiting for now is pretty much a date and a location. In my opinion, this is one of them fights to me. I just think, I think, um, I'm not going to say it's going to get slept on, but it won't get the attention that it deserves, in my opinion. This fight, to me, is a legacy fight. This fight is one of them kind of fights. This, this, this is a true, this is a real fight, and it's a 50-50 fight. Um, it, listen, um, do I favor Shakur? Yes. Uh because Shakur is more predictable in in certain ways um his career his performances they they've aligned pretty consistently he's been more consistent with his greatness and just with his with his style and just with his performances he he uh Shakur has put pretty much put up a, a a class performance in in pretty much at least his last 10 fights in my opinion even even the Nakatilla fight, I thought it was a great fight, even though they were saying he didn't engage. I think he was smart by not um getting hit with that big shit again by Nakatilla. But also, it's that fight that that really um made me feel like Frank Morton really got a chance. He really got a chance to uh, upset Shakur, in my opinion. He got a he got a chance. I favor Shakur, but Frank Morton this is like it don't get no bigger for him it don't get no he can he can really shut some shit down and like I said about the Nakatilla uh, fight this is why I, I've been saying because I've spoke about this fight in probably three different videos I've, I've, I've uh, talked about this fight ever since I've heard the possibility of it and even before then I was saying man Shakur versus Frank will be a cold fight Frank versus Tank will be a cold fight but one of the biggest factors in this fight for Frank Morton, somewhere along the line, I just feel like he stopped believing in his power. Frank Morton, to me, is the second hardest puncher at 135 uh, behind Tank. Frank Morton is cracking. Frank Morton got devastating power. I just feel like even in his last fight, that dude was tricky, though. He was very awkward. But he hurt him so many times, he just didn't finish him. He just didn't finish him, and he didn't really go for. He never really went for the kill. It was one round where he kind of went for the kill, and that was when he really, when he really hurt him. I think that round was when he dropped him, but um, that was the only round where he really went for the kill. But this is one of them fights where the skills of Shakur would be a, a hell of a challenge for Frank. The skills, or I, I believe Shakur's uh, skills, are superior. Um. I think he a better thinker in the ring. He way more poised. Because um, Frank looked jittery at times with that high guard. And, you know, sometimes I think he need to lower it a little bit so you can make sure you see what the fuck going on. But I think Shakur has the better ring IQ. But I'm telling you, what Frank possessed that Shakur has never seen, make no mistake about it, Frank ain't never, I don't even think in sparring he's ever seen a fighter like Shakur. Shakur is a bad man. But what Shakur has never seen is the athleticism, the, the twist and turn that uh, Frank Martin do. That, that's some of his best shit. And I'm going to tell you another thing. The punch that will stop just about anybody at 135, in my opinion. Not saying as soon as he landed, but this is the punch that will change the fight for anybody if he fights. I even, I've always said, even David Hunter, that's a tough fight for uh, him. A, a tricky southpaw like Frank. And it's the power. that To me, that's the ultimate factor of him having a chance. He got to believe in his power. You got to crack Shakur. 
all that trying to go in there and box with him, you not gonna outbox him. You not gonna outthink him. In my opinion, you gotta you gotta turn it into a fight. You gotta do that doghouse shit that you do in a uh, world class boxing gym with uh Derrick James and Earl Spence and Jamel now. You gotta go back to that shit. Like you really gonna have to become a dog in this fight. And I believe Shakira dog. I feel like if Shakira is pushed, he'll he'll fight back. But also, like I said in the Nakatia fight. Shakira showed me that when he get hit hard, he don't want to really mix it up no more. That's what he showed me in that knock fight. And I think that Frank Morton, if he can hit him early with some big shit, he can control the rest of the fight. With 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 the um and have him cautious of the power, in my opinion. And and also, like I said, the athleticism is gonna be very tricky for Shakira. But gonna be a hell of a fight, man. It's gonna be a hell of a fight. Um uh, and also, let me say this too, though. Shakir don't got no devastating power. We all know that. Uh, he's not a devastating puncher. But I'm going to tell you one thing. If you think Shakir can't hurt Frank, yes, he can. Shakir, well, the reason why Shakir can hurt a lot of opponents, he put his punches together. It's the combinations. It's the three-four punch. Shakir is one of the only fighters in boxing that really throw combinations and land with each of them. That motherfucker throw five and six punch combinations and land every one of them. He a combination puncher, and that's something that Frank is not ready. I'm telling you, you gonna have to, you gonna have to get ready for. I'm not gonna say he's not ready for, but he ain't never seen no shit like that. The accuracy of Shakur, the precise, he precise, bro. His punches are precise. Um, Shakur, let me tell you something. There is nobody in boxing that's more comfortable in the ring than Shakur. He's comfortable, bro. Ain't nobody in boxing better mid range than Shakur. It ain't close. Nobody's better than him mid range. So what I'm saying is, if Frank, if you go in that bitch trying to bob and weave and stay mid range and out think, it ain't gonna work. And you can mess around and get stopped. Shakur can stop Frank. Shakur can stop Frank. And I'm gonna say another thing. Shakur mean. Frank mean too. Frank Frank is yeah. Everybody know Frank mean. Frank got a mean streak. But a lot of people think they smile. Shakur mean. Shakur mean. He really he a savage, bro. He mean, bro. And I believe he a dog. He won't back down. But like I'm saying, it's one of them things where Frank could, I think Frank could lure Shakur into a war. Because Shakur had never been in a war. Valdez couldn't do it. He didn't have the athleticism and the quickness. To, he tried to put Shakur in a war, but he couldn't even land on him. And possibly, it, this could be one of them fights where Frank just can't hit Shakur. It could be that kind of fight. Shakur is that good. But what I'm saying is, if he can hit Shakur and really work him on the inside, because I think Shakur got a good inside game, but I think he's vulnerable. And I'm telling you, that right hook, the straight left is good of uh, Frank's, but his right hook is devastating. His right hook can clip you, bro. His right hook can clip you. So, it's a just mad. Listen, and I'm going to tell you another thing. Shakur, uh, he remind me a lot of Terrence Crawford with his preparation for fights. Shakur is one of the most prepared fighters when he's in the ring. And he study you. All that shit, because I'm going to tell you something, Boots and Bows, they better tighten up. Uh, talking about fighting uh, blood and spit. <laughs> and you don't watch film, you just go in there and do that athletic and amazing. I love Boots, and Boots is a hell of a talent, bro. But all that not watching film, let me tell you something, Shakur is going to study Frank. And he probably been studying Frank. He going to study him. He going to study everything he do wrong. And Shakur's goal is to pick Frank apart. And I'm telling you right now. It's going to depend on the mentality of Frank. He going he going to definitely have to be aggressive. He has he you you going to have to be aggressive but strategic. It's going to have to be strategic aggression. And I'm telling you you going to have to work your way inside. Also, I think Frank do got the reach advantage. From the outside, I think you could make uh, Shakur struggle at times because I think you do got the reach advantage. And that, like I said, that straight left, it could be a problem for Shakur. But outside, inside, but not mid-range. I see from the outside and the inside, you're getting some good work in. Um, Derrick James, I'm telling you right now, um, I, make no mistake about it. That loss, and I and I said what I said. I said I think you completely underestimated Bud, and you did not prepare Spence properly. I said all that, and I said Bo Mac outcoached you. But make no mistake about it, bro. Derrick James is not a fluke. He's not. That shit ain't cap. 
he got this far for a reason. So, but I'm telling you right now, I don't know if you put prepared or for your career, but you better get prepared, bro. You better get prepared for one of the most spectacular fighters that I've seen in a long time. You better get prepared, and I'm telling you, the game plan will be a major factor. So, all eyes going to be on you. All eyes going to be on Frank, but all eyes going to be on you. Because I'm looking to see how you going to deal with a fighter like this. But you know what? I think Shakur is the better fighter. But I think in certain aspects, I think Frank's feet are better. And I think he's more athletic. His feet, that could be, that could, that could be a major factor in this fight. He, it could, because I feel like Frank don't use his athleticism enough. He's way more athletic than what he showed. I'm telling you right now, Derrick Jane, I'm really looking forward to see how this game plan going to look. I'm trying to see how you're going to prepare for a fighter like Shakur. Shakur's special talent. I don't know. I'm really looking forward to this game plan. I definitely I definitely think he's going to have to use that jab more. But his athleticism and the power and just the killer instinct, I think that all three of those factors going to have to be there too. And, and this is just a really have a competitive fight and a possibility of winning you're gonna have to have all those factors and some to fuck with Shakur but like I said with Shakur he just gonna have to stay focused bro Can't st you gotta stay focused and don't get into no war with Frank cause Frank can clip you that is a fact motherfucker sleeping on that Frank can clip you bro anybody at 135 Frank can clip you Frank can clip you he can hurt you bro so he gonna have to stay focused um and just when Shakur is on this shit, bro, and I'm telling you, if he get in rhythm, it's over for Frank. If Shakur get in rhythm, get to throwing them combinations, it's over. And that motherfucker get to licking his tongue out like uh, Michael Jordan, it's over with. So it's a 50-50 fight. I favor Shakur, but I think Frank will rise to the occasion. I really think Frank Morton will, 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 will really rise to the occasion, which will make this fight a great fight. And I'm telling you, this is an underrated-ass fight. And I'm telling you right now, it's fights like this is why boxing is the best sport. It's the number one sport, bro, in the world. It just is ran by mobsters and crooked motherfuckers. That's the reason why boxing is not the number one sport. It would be the number one sport if it weren't for crooked motherfuckers like Kenahan and Bob and all these mafia motherfuckers. That's why boxing is not number one. It's too much crooked illegal shit go home <laughs> for it to be number one. You know, them country boys at the NFL, they kind of keep their illegal shit under wraps. But in boxing, motherfuckers get caught with dope. Kenahan moving dope all over the world, and that motherfucker on the run now. So I'm saying boxing is too illegal to be the number one sport. But when it comes to talent and just putting on a show, bro, you can't compare nothing to boxing, bro. This is the number one sport in the world, and it's fights like this. It just keep me excited, bro. So I can't wait for it. So, yeah, this is 903 Boxing. I'm your host, George. With that, I'm out.